Hey, what's up? It's Snell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we're going to be blasting China's multi-fission decomposition in the painful metamorphosis. Holy shit. Now, this whole entire album, including the Demi Lich cover, really, really makes you feel like you stumbled across, and I've said this before, but like, it legitimately 125% sounds like a long lost finished death metal demo from, I would say, 1990 to 1993. If you're a fan of the slimy goodness that is Demi Lich, throw that in with Demi God and Convulse. You know what I'm getting at here. Pretty much all the best of slimy, weird, demented, finished death metal thrown together into a cross-breeding death metal monster that happens to be in the form of decomposition in the painful metamorphosis. And it's fucking great. Like, hands down, as soon as I even looked at the cover, I was like, whoa. What the fuck is this? Cause Rotted Life was rad enough to just throw this in my package. And, oh my God. As soon as it started like this, I was won over. And like it doesn't go down like the Cathelist route either. And I know a lot of people consider Cathelist like one of the best Demulich like inspired bands out there. And you know, alongside like Artificial Brain and whatnot, even Blood Incantation, earlier Blood Incantation really had a lot more like time ghoul influence also which created demi ghoul when you mix time ghoul with demi lich you get demi ghoul so you had with like interdimensional extinction these more demi ghoul style vibes that really kind of remind me of multivision but at the same time this is on its own level but like, it really reminded me of it the first time I listened to it. Just with like the way the vocal patterns were, like, it's one of the things Blood Incantation has evolved with over the releases. Like, they hold off, kind of, when it comes to the more like, all those, like with the chanted vocals and whatnot, they've kind of, you know, chilled on that, and when they need it, it's very, very fitting and awesome sounding, and it's a tip of the hat to Time Ghoul, and you could say Beherit also, and a couple other bands, but I always look at it as Time Ghoul, and here with Multivision, this is amazing that this, you know, landed state stateside, thanks and licensed with permission from 
Hang Kwan Records, copyright 2021, which I'm guessing is the original record label that put this bad boy out. But I have no idea how Jason at Routed Life heard this and was lucky enough to be the American label to put this out because this is a release, in my opinion, the American death metal scene needs. And Rotted Life have been delivering at the moment. I've noticed a lot of absolutely killer non-American death metal. And what I'm talking about is... I can't wait to review this with you folks, but Gasudar, holy fuck. Like, I love that two track demo, but they really killed it here with the full length. But this came out of fucking nowhere. Like, I, I just was expecting this in the mail, and when I opened it and saw two tapes, I immediately was like, I've, I've never heard of this band. Like, I, I wonder if this is a reissue. First thing I thought was, I wonder if this is a reissue because I saw that they covered they covered Inherited Bowel Levitation reduced without any effort, which is a Demi Lich cover. So I just assumed maybe this was like a demo compilation from Multivision with a very Demi Lich-ish title decomposition in the painful metamorphosis it just so happens this band definitely loves fucking demi lich and finished death metal in general and hailing from china all i need to really say is fuck yeah like seriously wow if there's more death metal bands like this in china like fucking a like there has to be, like, an Asian metal comp out there that, like, you know, gives you a little bit of, like, you know, bands to check out or whatnot. Or, like, I know when I get a minute, I'm going to, uh, look up Multivision and some of their band members, although they have fake names here, but, um... I want to know what other bands these dudes were in before this, but they look very young. So this could just be them paying homage to Finnish death metal and being teenagers. I have no idea. All I know is it's fucking grade A, fucking deranged as fuck death metal that happens to hail from a region of the world that you don't really hear that much of when it comes to death metal. Like, listen to this. Again. I'm not spoiling this whole bad boy for you because this full length is one of my favorites of the year so far and it's just fucking ridiculous um nine tracks total including uh the Demi Lich cover and like I was saying it's really really a nod to Demi Lich even in some of the uh song titles like I, can, I there's one with the parentheses which I'm guilty of like I I, I did my own little demi lich tip of the hat with the accursed womb uh compilation but uh vanishing the mind till regurgitation opens this bad boy up inner perversity mental cybernetic profliteration drowning phantasm egocentric moral dilemmas then we have 
Inherited Bow Levitation Reduced Without Any Effort Demulich Cover. Passage of Psychic Decomposition Part 1. Then we have The Passage of Psychic Decomposition Part 2 into Flow in the River Decay. And the ominous blaze from distant wasteland is the outro. And multifission decomposition and the painful metamorphosis has created, as I said, pretty much a love letter to all the weird, awesome Finnish death metal from the early to mid-90s and beyond a little bit also and it's just really really like lyrically super it, it's just fucking good everything about this it's well written it, it's just killer no life exists until my self-destruction newborn mentality find a way out of his imprisoned world bloody termination Brutal spectacle injected into yearning eyes. Selfish lambs witness the final massacre as their souls drown in the river of eternal darkness. So, if you're a fan of classic Finnish-influenced death metal, look no further than Multifission... Decomposition in the painful metamorphosis. Anti Bowman would be very proud of the vocalist whose name is Gut. And we have Gore Whore on drums. Purulent Reek on guitar. Torment. On guitars and Skeleton Hell on bass. And just by looking at their t-shirts, like I see a Sodom t-shirt, Viserial Infest. Uh, I can't really get a good glimpse at the other ones, but yeah, this promo photo also is just fucking awesome. And yeah, this release is awesome. Multi multifission decomp uh, decomposition in the painful metamorphosis on Rotted Life Records, licensed with permission by Hung Kwan Records, twenty twenty one. All right, so this is on my list of albums of the year. It's that fucking good. I really like how just simple the cosmetics are. It it really gives it that 90s vibe to it in every way, shape, or form and form. Like, even just like, alright, let's just do plain font. Like, to me that that's awesome. Like going, you know, and just keeping it simple and clean, but then when you look at the cover art, like I said, it looks like it fell out of Finland in, like, 1992. And the crazy thing is, like, this is a new, you know, this is a 2021 release. And I'm stoked that a label like Rotted Life Records has their ears to the underground to pick up a band like Multifision. Because, like I was saying, this is the stuff I personally, like really really try and get my hands on i love slimy weird death metal that's heavy as fuck and just weird like sometimes you know a band like witch vomit they just keep it simple and just sick and i i love that but sometimes it's awesome hearing like all sorts of weird riffing going on and inhuman vocals and that's one of the reasons i love artificial brain so much you get like this brutal technical death metal with these just totally inhuman demi lichish demi lich ish 
Predator-style vocals from Will. And Will's one of my favorite death metal vocalists, period. And when they toured with Demi Lich and Blood Incantation, I was so stoked on that lineup and just a great show. And this is a band I really hope makes its way to America eventually, because trust me, this is a band I want to see fucking live. This is a band I want to see tour with like Blood Incantation, because uh, it would be very fitting and I think that they would have fun, definitely. But uh, this is a killer fucking album. Definitely one of my favorites. And I don't know when this was originally recorded. This could have been recorded last year, but it got a release in 2021. So yeah, this is going in my albums of the year pile at the moment. Multifission, decomposition, in the painful metamorphosis fucking grade a death metal get into it on rotted life records and thank you to rotted life records for making this video possible and thank you maniacs at home for watching you fucking rule hails <laughs>